in North Carolina in April. No. Yes, we are. No, yeah, Tabby are. wants to go on we vacation are. to North Carolina instead of um, we Florida. We, we were trying to go to Florida for Playlist Live. <laughs> Hello world. I woke up super early and I hate when I wake up early on my mornings off because I like to sleep in and I don't get that often but I eventually go back to sleep for like an hour. I am on my way to Weight Watchers and slated to hear how much I've lost. I've been weighing myself at home so I kind of have like the general idea of how much I've lost but uh, you know, their scales have the record of the last time, so they'll be more precise on the amount that I lost. All right, I finally arrived just up yonder. Let's get this done. My mom's already here. Did you get weighed in? Oh, you did get weighed in already? I did. Oh, I gotta get pee. I gotta pee. So, yeah, I'll put my stuff down. <laughs> All right, I'm out of Weight Watchers now, and I'm down four pounds, total of 7.4 pounds. This is huge. I know it's not a huge number yet, but all last year I was trying to lose weight and instead I gained weight. This is the first time I've actually lost substantial amount of weight. So it's amazing. I feel good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but I uh, bought some snacks there because they sell their products. And I got more smoothies because the smoothies are amazing. They taste delicious. Well, the vanilla and chocolate one do. The strawberry one they have, I don't like it. And they're small points, so I have them every morning. And then I got some snacks. This is barbecue potato chips. And I got a cheddar crisp in here. They're both two points. And... And I got this to take with me to like when I go to work. It's a vegetable tiki masala. And it's five points per bag and it's three servings. So that's a lunch that I can have. And that's all I got for now. Cause um, they can get a little expensive, but it's worth it to get a few things per week just so that you can have something to grab because that's my problem sometimes if I'm in a hurry and I need to go and there's nothing around and I haven't eaten there's something there that's available for me to just grab and I'll be okay and that's very important because then if I don't then I'm gonna eat all the bad things or I'm gonna go out to fast food or whatever here's my mom going by <laughs> we're gonna head home now all right we're getting ready to eat lunch I have a big salad that I made the other day and it's still good and mom's gonna make some breast over here chicken breast. chicken breast to throw on top of the salad are you gonna have some salad or what I guess if it's not I have to have a, it's not it's still fresh that's good did you wash your hands oh my gosh what are you Tabitha no Tabitha get it from me so I lost nine pounds total yeah, 7.4 total. You guys are gonna see two different girls soon. I can see it in my face, Steph, already. Yeah? Can you see it? It feels me? like the nine pounds came right out of my face. I feel it in my well, tummy. I, see, I feel it in my stomach, too. I feel my tummy getting flatter, so, which I'm very happy about. And I was talking to them today about getting pregnant, because when you reach your goal at Weight Watchers and you maintain it for six weeks, you become a lifetime member, which means you don't have to pay to yeah. use Weight Watchers anymore. Yeah. So I was concerned about getting pregnant because that means I'm going to gain some weight. And it seems like they're going to give me a free pass. Hey, you just spit in my face, Tabby. <laughs> yes, I felt something flick in my eye. I was trying eye. to tell you to go to the higher one so you can become a lifetime member. Once you get to the highest one, yeah, you know, but in case you got pregnant, and at least you're our lifetime member. I know, but I didn't do that only because I really want to be 135. I understand, but you're, so. you're gonna get pregnant, right? So why not just get the highest right now? Let's say you got pregnant before you got to 140. Well, my goal is then to gotta, get to 140. But then you're gonna get work harder while you're pregnant, which is a little harder. To that do. wasn't spit. It was tomato. Oh, yeah. I chewed on oh, that tomato why, and I squirted That's it. why I oh. picked 124. And then she said if I want to change it, I can set a new goal. 
Well, I want to be 135, but I gave them 140, so that's why I said that. So I have 26 pounds to get there. I can do it. Your highest is 146, right? I just need three months. Three months! That's what I'm giving myself. No more, no more waiting. And in North Carolina in April. No, we are. No, yeah, Tabby are. wants to go on we vacation are. to North Carolina instead of um, we Florida. Go. We, we were go. trying to go to Florida for Playlist Live. Yeah, we but we couldn't still. figure out if we were going to do that because gonna it's going to be less expensive. North Carolina is going to be less money, and we are going. No, but the bumps are going to be there, and. Ellie and Jared? Yeah. I, I don't know. I and haven't Colin confirmed them. And Katie and, and Samica. Known. This is the one we had to go to. Mom wants to see daily bumps and all the vloggers she watch um, at the Florida Playlist Live. But yeah. I'm going to North Carolina, when we looked though. at how much we were going to spend with the flight, with the hotel, with the rental car, with um, eating and Playlist Live tickets, it was gonna be way over a grand. That's well, why we're going to North go Carolina. Us, us three. That's why we're going to North Carolina because it's less money. This is a heated debate here. This is so hard trying to figure out vacation and having the money to go on vacation. I really want to go on vacation because we really need it. I need it. We really, 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 really so, need it. No car would be cheaper because we'll drive there. It's only 12 hours. It's not like 24. Yeah, but John's like, what are we going to do in North Carolina? I gave him my stuff. This stuff I said do. there's an amusement park. A mus I think there are amusement parks. It's a big park. one with like a bunch of big little coasters. And then we'll see the Ollery's. And then I told him they have like... We'll seven, see what happens. Seven, Let's go eat. I'm hungry. So here's my delicious salad. Look at the color. Got a good variety. I made a big salad the other day, so I'm sharing with my mom so that... It doesn't go to waste because I'll probably eat one more salad today, but I don't like to eat a salad if I make it longer than um, two full days. So this would be the second full day that it's been made. So it needs to be eaten today because then after that, the some of the vegetables, they have moisture and they'll make all the other vegetables around it wet and then it'll wilt the lettuce and it just... Gross. <laughs> Mom cut up her chicken on her salad, and I have mine whole, so I think I'm gonna cut them up so that it's easier to eat. More bite size. And I just got a whole thing of water. That'll be my second water. I'm doing good so far, and it's only 12 o'clock, so I gotta just prepare my dinner after this and then go to work. What's up, folks? <laughs> I haven't vlogged since home. John got home and he had some lunch and we finished up an episode of Once Upon a Time that we were watching yesterday but we couldn't finish because the Wi-Fi had gone down. So then I literally had like 30 minutes. So I grabbed my food, packed it to come to work and now I'm leaving. It's seven o'clock. I adjusted my hours a little bit just so that I can have some breathers, you know, because I've been working too much lately, and I feel like adjusting these hours just a little bit is going to make a huge difference, especially in my mood. It's still kind of light out at 7, but I mean, it's not bright. The sun's down, um, but I like it. I like not leaving work and it be just completely pitch black outside and then... That also affects your mood too, when it's nighttime and you're going home and you're tired. Like, I don't feel tired. I still feel like I still have some time left in my day. So we're, I'm gonna go pick up a red box now. Um, John told me to get a red box because I have four free red box codes that I got in my email. So I'm gonna pick up a red box. I don't know which movie we're gonna get. John, I text him. I text John to ask him what movie to get, and he hasn't answered me, so he's gonna get a kick in the butt because I wanna know. I wanna know! Here at Strawberry and Chuck, getting a red box. It's over there in the corner. See what they have. Look who I found! It's Hubby! He is cooking some dinner for himself because I had already brought 
dinner for myself, um, the leftovers from yesterday. So I already knew that I was going to be at work till 7. So I was like, I'm going to eat there because by the time I come home, I'm not eating at 8 or 8.30. So I ate, but I told him, you're going to have to fend for yourself since I ate. I would have made him something if he really wanted me to. But he started cooking, so he said, I'm going to make some fish with some baked beans. And he's going to have some white rice that I had left over from the... Um, from the Asian rice that I made yesterday because I made it white rice first before I made Asian so I had leftover white rice and that's what he's having and he's going all fancy he put all the vegetables and he's seasoning the fish that's tilapia and we ended up picking Fantastic Four and um, this one's called Ratter and it has Ashley Benson from Pretty Little Liars in it. So the coupon code was only for buy one, get one free. I thought it was just get one free. Unfortunately, it wasn't. And the other one I had was for get one free, but it was for Walmart. And I wasn't about to drive to Walmart tonight because <laughs> it's like on the other side of town. So, yeah, that's what we got so far. We're going to watch it tonight instead of our usual shows because... We had a couple of shows to catch up on, but since we have these red boxes and we're not going to have time to watch them tomorrow, we're going to watch these tonight after Hubby's done cooking. I just finished texting Sydney, telling her that I had a good time yesterday and we need to have girl time more often because uh, it just made a difference in my day. My day felt so much better. I came home, cooked for John. We had most of the day that we were spent together then I came home and cooked and then we went to rehearsal and then I went to bed and it was great 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 woke up today and I was a little tired but that was because I went to bed a little too late but the rest of the day felt great then I went to work for five hours and I'm home early enough that we can watch some movies so made a big difference i'm so glad i adjusted my hours so that i can have more me time because it's necessary all right guys so question of the day i haven't been doing these because i keep forgetting <laughs> i'm so mad but i i i need to throw one in because it's been a while what is one thing you'd like to change in your day or week like each week what would you like to change differently about it that would benefit you to help you mentally, spiritually, physically. What is something that you think that, hmm, maybe if I switch this or stop doing this or did this on this day, whatever, what would benefit you? And honestly, I wanna challenge you. If, if it's something that you can change and if you worked hard and think hard, how can I change this? I wanna challenge you to do it this week. Whatever it is that you need to change, for your week to just make things different because I just adjusted three hours in my week and I feel already different and I'm happy I feel good so definitely I want to challenge you guys my challenge for this coming week I already said it is that I'm gonna get three days in the week that I'm gonna exercise so hold me to it and I will check back with you at the end of next week to see if you changed anything so be sure to leave it in the comments below so that we can all encourage each other um, on that. All right, we just finished the two Red Box movies. Fantastic Four was okay. It wasn't that bad. I didn't think it was so bad. A lot of people were like, "Oh, it bombed," but I liked it. And then Ratter was it was one of those low budget films that are take from a camera on a phone or like somebody's own personal camera and it was interesting we've seen one like that before where people hack into um people's laptop cameras or their phone cameras and then they stalk them and kill them at the end and stuff like that so i think in the beginning it was very dry excuse me Whew. in the beginning it was very dry but then at the end it got you know that suspense that tension um but it was very predictable so we are ready to go to bed. Hannah's like, I'm ready, right? You ready? Jonathan's hogging the bathroom for five hours. And <laughs> you always stay in the bathroom forever. 
toilet. Yeah, well, our bathroom is this small, so it's like better to use the bathroom one by one. Oh, hi. I have a hair. <laughs> I have a <laughs> Oh, seriously. But I'm going to say good night and see you tomorrow because I am exhausted and we have a long day tomorrow. So I hope you guys had a great day and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And remember to love your life. Bye. Oh my gosh, look at those teeth. You're so funny. Oh my gosh, I think he likes seeing himself. He does.